<coughs> good, mo <coughs> good morning, Christians. Oh, welcome to day two. It's a C day. Oh, I've ruined that. <laughs> Where are we today? Let's have a look. Well, actually, what's strange about today is I'm actually the last one up. Morning. Go to George's preparing. And as I said, it's a C day. So let's have a look. So uh, last night, it's, it's been really rocky. Whoa. Not crazy rocky, just rocky. And that's uh, the view this morning, which is all out of focus I know, but we'll try and go outside and show you. But it's a bit choppy, as you can see. Oh my God. Right. That's been blown away. Morning. There we go. Whoa. Yes. So it's a sea day today. It's actually 8:33. I think we've been up this early on any of our cruise ship videos. It's incredibly windy. And incredibly choppy. It's not really because we're at the front of the boat. I think it's just as you can see by the sea there. Ship, sorry. And you can see by the sea there, it's quite rocky. Try and go back in. It's not so bad. But it's been very loud. It was very loud last night. It was like a weird hum. Like I say, we stopped in these cabins a few times. Never really had any uh, noises. There's a slight weird hum that's happening. So I'm not quite sure what that is. Anyway, so we're up nice and early. Uh, going to George getting ready. And we're going to go and get some breakfast. So we get on. So let's prepare the day as we go for day two on Sky Princess. Well, I was thinking it compared to it was like being an astronaut when I was in bed last night because you kind of like. It lifts up and they have like this point of where you're like weightless, where you're like floating, and then you suddenly just come back down. Like I say, it's, it's not a terrible rocky, it's just rockier than it's been previously aboard. So we're making our way to the breakfast area. Don't think we've ever seen breakfast on this channel, so it's an interesting thing to show everybody. It's a bit rocking and rolling, but hopefully, once we get to some bigger areas. Iron out a bit, but yeah, we'll show you what's for breakfast on board the Sky Princess. Oh, all right, we'll go this way. We've not been this way. What's our predictions for people outside? Normal, I think they're quite normal. The kids don't care if it's windy, or the kids don't care if it's windy. I think we'll see lots of kids playing. It should be, is that already? So, the next, not only, no, oh Jesus, not only is it a tad choppy, they made the game even harder by wetting the floor. Yay. Double challenge. More chance on slip door. Oh, it's dead. Huh? It's dead. They're open. Where's all the kids? Like a ghost town. God, it's freezing. So we will be tearing out of the pool later on. We're just gonna try and get to uh if you hold on to something, you have less chance of slipping all. Yes. Might not be as wet over there. Oh, <laughs> Oh, this happened. So the deck's really wet, so you've got to be careful. And, uh, actually, weather wise, by the wind, it's not bad actually. We're only wearing shorts and t shirts. 
probably sounds windier than it is. Yeah, anyway, we're gonna make our way ah, over to the buffet without breaking our necks, and then we'll uh, see what's for breakfast. So, this is the breakfast buffet. I don't know if we've ever been breakfast. <laughs> it's weird, everyone's walking like the drunk. So I'll find somewhere to sit and I'll give you a quick run around what there is for breakfast. Food on here is amazing. If I've said that a thousand times, I've not said it enough times. It's truly fantastic. But this is a... Uh... See, people think this is busy because they've never been on the MSC ship. <laughs> See how really busy it can be. But we'll give you a quick tour eventually. we we'll find a seat and settle in. Well, we found a table. It wasn't too hard, actually. Uh, like I say, it's busy, but it's not MSC busy because they do have the, the dining rooms open here and several other breakfast options. That's where everybody's gone. I don't know. Once again, on this cruise, I've been left on my own. Brenda George went for some breakfast. Not seen him since. Scott, I think, is feeling a bit seasick. So he's a... Uh, diving around and so this is me with my complimentary apple juice good morning everybody and the George is now back so we're gonna see what there is food on here is always fantastic let's say, let's say that again um, so they open it all up at breakfast beef broth chicken courgette tomatoes potatoes fruit Sausages of various kinds. Got there. I can't really get in, get busy. Hash browns, scramble eggs. Around here they have cakes. No, they have fish. Sliced tomato, sliced onions. Yeah, fish, capers, not fish in it. Ooh, smoke, I love smoked mackerel. Don't know if that's the best thing to eat on a seasick day, but. Around here you can get your waffles. Well, waffles, what they call them. I know, it's the worst tour ever, isn't it? There's your breakfast. Mushrooms, bacon, sausages, American sausages, bread, tea, coffee, bagels. I, I will try at some point to do a bit of a more, well, it would be more of a tour, it would be a tour. But you, you won't be uh, struggling for food here. It's all right, it seems if it looks busy, it's not that busy. Pretty reasonable, we are in peak as well. Loads of lovely fresh fruit. That fruit I had last night was gorgeous. So let's get a plate and try out the food. It all looks amazing. I will do a better review at some point. If you've not seen the food on the Sky Princess, you will love it, I guarantee. Look at this amazing food I have. So what else have we got? Steamed fish, English bacon, breakfast burrito, chicken soup. Oh, that's all white. Ash brown. It's a bit of a weird concoction, I would agree with you. We've got bacon, we've got this bit of beef stuff I've never heard of. This, this is some kind of fritter. And we got hash brown mushrooms and what's it called? Fried bread. So we maybe not do breakfast every day on this channel, but now we're doing it. We're taking it serious. It's a bit wibbly wobbly though. Let's get tuck in, see what it tastes like. So we've enjoyed our breakfast. Now we're gonna try out the swim pool. So my, my predictions is the, the rear pool, the half pool. It's normally quite quiet, but it can get busy at times. Oh, I did enjoy breakfast. A bit rough being out though. So if you do come and it's nice weather, you can have your breakfast outside as well. Good, yeah. There's a wobble that, wasn't it? Oh, it's closed. So we'll have to go down a flight of normal stairs. Now we're trying to work out how to get out. No, maybe there's not a door. <clears throat> Here we go. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, a bit nasty single. Frank Sinatra, so. There we go. Yeah, that's life. Yeah, oh, I um, Not quite sure how to do this. So the back door's shut. So we're trying to work out how to get out. There must be, the pool's on this one, isn't it? 
one below the, is it two below? I don't know. So we need to go this way. And this way will take us out. So we've gone up a deck to 17. Hopefully we can get out here. Be careful though, it might be a bit windy. Sun's out though. Good morning. Are you okay? Woo! Aha, uh -huh. here we go, we're going somewhere now. Oh gosh, it's really windy. It's pretty though. Jesus. Right. It is. It's a bit red. It is a bit red. And it says. It says adults only now. How old are you? 13. 18. Sounds good to me. We have to go to the other pool. It's adults only now, that pool. Yeah. It's a bit windy, guys. <laughs> so, we're going to shortcut through the fattest, fattiness centre. I'm not quite sure what fattiness Fitness! Don't even know what that is. Oh, it's like some kind of anti anti buffet place. Oh, I've never seen that's what you're talking about. We don't have a conversation about this. Bicycles where you can see where you're going. So we're gonna sneak through here and find ourselves the main pools. But yeah, so the rear pool now is for adults only. This is the gym. Wow. Wow, yeah. There's loads of nice machines there. And uh, we'll come back out here. Uh, so you have to watch the, these. The, these doors are particularly death trappy. Yep. All right. All right. Here he goes. All right. Come, come in. Oh God. Oh, sorry. Come in. All right. Thank you. Right. There we go. Yes. Yeah. So you have to watch, watch the doors. They're very windy, but lo and behold, I can see a hot tub. So we found a little hot tub here. So we look around the corner and see if it's better. When you're in the sun, it's all right actually, it must be. Just have to avoid that wind. Let's have a look on the main hoop deck. Oh, I'll tell you where it's a good place to sit. There. See these little round chairs in the middle? Now they're really good because the wind blocks you around it. You can watch the telly as well. So we'll come down here and we'll probably sit in one of those. But yeah, we'll see the sun, it's really nice. So we found a little technical, but unfortunately, it'll be pretty safe here with this pool to watch your wick back up. So it's Brandon George. So I have to keep an eye on my camera. But if this wind dries down a bit and the sun moves around a bit, it should be alright. Alright, let's get some drinks. So we've had a quite little change of venue. Now we're at the other circle. When the sun's out, it's alright, it's just really windy. We're going to join in the hot tub. So everybody's happy. And we've got the movie on. Just hang on. Oh, yeah, so I was about to put a hot tub. Everything's warm compared to me stood out here. My stuff will blow away every time I believe it, so one of us is on stuff watch at the moment. Oh, we've, we've been in the hot tub. George is still in there, Renna George. I've come out. It's a bit wild, it's freezing. <laughs> it's not so bad actually, but it's in the, the sun. It's not so bad, but everything's blowing around. But, day two, we are having fun. I can confirm that. We may have to see what else we can do inside, which is just as fun. I want to show you some kids playing in the pool. 
this crocodile was really good fun. I couldn't play because the bloody music. So, this part is still carrying on. We're going to get an ice cream. So when you watch my videos, it's always worth watching other ones of the same shit. Because it's never always the same exp experience depending on the weather, or where you're going, or who's on board. So you need to kind of watch them all to get an idea of how it can always play out. But although the weather's a bit crap, and it's a bit rocky, we're still having a great time. And we're having a nice cream. Don't forget, you've got your luxury premium ones as well if you've got the package. But we're just getting the free ones here now. Well, you've got the... Mixed. Mix, let's have a look at it. Oh, very nice. I'll do the the English channel response the Looks nice. So the captain's making an announcement, saying about the weather. I'll give you a summary. And he said about the ship. People complain about creaking in the ship, obviously. Now much you can do, there's flexes, doesn't it? But apparently we're getting rid of the stall and things should be getting nicer. So we're gonna get the boys. And go and have some lunch. And we'll see what the afternoon brings. But like all things, you paid the money, you've got to make the best of it. So don't let the weather ruin your holiday. There's some top tips for you there. Don't let the weather ruin your holiday. Unless you're skiing and it's sunny and there's no snow. Here they are. I'm ready to go. Pitching and unfortunately for that motion the stabilizers do nothing at all. So now tell us about the stabilizers. So the stabilizers build up. Yes, here we are in the buffet. I will show you all the food eventually at one point. What have we got here? Oh this looks nice. Oh, swans. Oh cofter. With this stuffed beef pizza, Turkish rice, yogurt, drink. Oh my god, I'm in heaven. Right, let's find a nice table. So, if you want to see what they have at the buffet, I'm going to upload a video up to the channel and you can see the full lunch experience here on board. Not very good at using the camera. So, what are you going for now? Roast chicken, carrots. That looks really nice, actually. And some rice. I wouldn't think I wouldn't mind some some kind of veg and fruits. Scott's gone for double <laughs> double potatoes. So tonight I had the chicken. I had some um, poppadoms, and I had the lemonade. The lemonade is really nice. And if you haven't got a drinks package, you can get the lemonade at lunch and at tea time or dinner, whatever you call it. So tonight the captain. It wasn't the captain. It was the cruise director. Made announcement saying. There is going to be. I'm sorry, let me see the beautiful champagne. Let me see the money maker. There we go. The, the, the champagne thing should be on, unless it's like crazy weather. And then also, what was I going to say? Dress up. Yeah, it's dress up tonight, yes. Yeah, so we'll be wearing black and white, of course. Uh, but yes, yeah, so the show's been cancelled due to technical reasons. That's because it's going to be still stormy tonight. That's why they cancelled the show. So they've got people singing instead. So. Prepare ourselves for another stormy night, but now time for food. Let's tuck in. So we've just realised we missed the ten pound sale. So we're going to go to the princess shops and see if maybe we still can catch it before they stop the ten pound sale. So let's have a look around the shops. So this is the view from inside. Quite relaxed. Some kid entering the breakdancing competition there, doing very well. Uh, so we're going to look around the shops and see if there's anything. We won't actually do this because next time we're on board we've got some credit. In fact, we could also inquire about future credits as well. 
but we're going to see if there's anything we fancy, whether it's worth upgrading to uh, Princess Plus, Princess, Princess Plus, Princess Premium. Probably not, but we'll find out. So one of the weird thing about uh, cruise ship shops is they're always like crazy. So, oh, I forgot my Rolex. Please help me out. But I think if we go, we'll probably go on the next one down. It probably was deck five. I think it's a deck seven. But yeah, if you've come along, you're like, oh, I forgot my diamond necklace. Well, good news. You can get a diamond necklace from here. So there's some tables and chairs. Oh, this is the co what, cocktail. There's a place to come. There's not many chairs, though. I'm so downside, but the cocktails there are fantastic. But I think we've got to go one more down and get to the shops, and maybe we'll catch the sales still. It is gorgeous, though. I can't remember if I said this last night. It's very, very pretty. It's really, really nice. International Cafe. Best place in the world. So, if you're still starving after your lunch, and you've checked out my lunch video, International Cafe is the place to come. Drinks as well. Cookies, everything. So, around here takes us to the shops. Oh, it doesn't. Why am I getting lost? He's lost. It was on deck seven, wasn't it? How do I? How do I? How do I <laughs> get Grand Judge back up? Hi, Grand Judge. Hello there. Ooh, looks like they've moved it. It used to be on deck five, moved it back up to deck seven, the original deck we was on. Mm. Bloody princess. Mm. I think he's fell for it. So if you do want the shops, we are on deck seven. Just remembered. Deck five is guest services. Deck six is the casino. Deck seven is the shops. Let's go back up to the top. Oh look, we're here again, we went downstairs. So, even a season cruiser doesn't always know which way to go. This is The Catch by Rudy. This is one of the premium restaurants, so you want to pay a bit extra. We've got the premium package, you can come here. You do get a choice of two. So you've got the Crown and Grill, which would be recommended. The Rinds of Fish. It's supposed to go, and this is nice. This guy's got my room served. My room service, that is, that's what I bought from my room service. And yes, this, the, the shops, they've, there's no shops, there's no shops they've moved. The shops they've moved, they've moved them here. Don't tell nobody. I think we have missed the sale, but we'll have a, oh, hang on, no, maybe not. Maybe not. What's in the middle? Let's have a look. You got some nice stuff in it. Something for me a bit pricey. It's like a bloody bring and buy so isn't it? More than ten dollars, oh we've got this day. Hashmeres. Some handbags. Let's have a nice handbag. Don't have a picture of a hand. See what bargains we can find. So Granny George has found some overalls. Overalls, anyway. I think you find it's not overalls. Okay. This is a designer shirt, this is. Bit rough. How much is it? This is the Ultimate Oxford by Barber. Uh, and the price is. It's free charge. Uh, and that's hidden. $89. But if you get it, to, oh no, you can't get 25% off, you took the money. How do you get 25% off? It's a thing normal. <laughs> a thing normal? <laughs> Look over there, look. No, that's on. It's a bit wobbly, this is. So we're looking around the shop. They do have some nice stuff. I don't know if £90 good for a barber. I'll tell you how much a barber jacket is. They're £100 and something pound normally. So, find one. Jesus. $227. I don't know if that's off the, the mark or on the mark. So... This is where you come if you've got a handbag or some designer clothes. You can also get some shit ship accessories. A model ship. These are quite nice. Yeah. Ooh. I presume 37 is this one. Because there's pewter. 
I don't know how much this little one is. 22. And the big one. He's about 100 and something. He's not. It's light though, isn't it? It's plastic. That's why. Do I take a guess, viewers? Do I take a guess? So what was that? Thirty-seven, twenty-two. What you got guessing at? Ninety. Ninety. No, just forty-eight. Oh yeah, we'll have two then. Cool. <laughs> uh, got some water bottles. Another princess-related stuff. We bought some jackets. Last time, the jackets were nice. And then we've got some cigarettes in the back. This is the uh, one side of the shops. So we've done our shopping. And then we've got an event on in the five. And then this is the Churchill's Arcade. I don't know if I've showed you inside the theatre. Yeah, if I can get in. No, this door should open. And I can show you how big it is. There we go. So, so the cool thing about cruise ships is they can't lock the doors for the obvious reason. If you sink, you'll be trapped. So if you're a bit of an explorer, like you. you're like me, yeah, exactly. Lovely. You can walk around and see the places. And you get to see aspects you don't really see before. So this is the theatre. Look how big it is. Just for one day, could be the Cruise My Father show. Look all the seats, very nice. Nowhere to put your drinks though. That's the only downside. Oh, nice looking seats. So this is the Princess Theatre. Right at the front of the ship, a little bit rocking. I reckon that's why they changed the show for tonight. So, but yeah, look at this, really nice. I know. <laughs> so, cleverly designed as always. As you leave your theatre after watching your show, they're gonna ram you into the casino. So you have to walk out, come through the casino. They don't really like you filming the casino, so. We'll come in just a little bit, give you a rough idea. So this is like the Britannia, but obviously this time I have a massive casino as opposed to a little casino. And I'll turn my camera off because now we're told off. But these are the machines, you've got some tables as well. I'll tell you what's changed in here. There's no bar. There's no bar. Where's the bar? No, the bar used to be there. That was the casino bar. Now there's no bar in the casino. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I'm pretty sure I'm right, though. That was a casino bar. Well, why are we here? We're going to try out the Good Seas. Good Seas? What's it called? The cocktail place. It's so like I say, it's always hard to get a table here. So, oh, the dancing. What's going on here? It's a Michael Jackson dance. Thriller. So, I'll try and talk over it so that you don't get copyrighted. But this is what they're doing, they're dancing. Michael Jackson Thriller. So, Grandad George has been challenged with the task of getting two cocktails from, what's it called? Good Spirits at Sea. So, let's see what he brings back to us. Here is the finest waiter of the seas. Two specials. Two specials. Do you know what it's called? No. Well, I didn't say. Green goddesses. So we'll get Grandad George to try it out. We don't know what it's called though. That's any downside. Go on then. Give it a suck. Cheers. Cheers. Happy holidays. Lovely. Yeah, it's That's what the doctor ordered. Sitting right here. We have your sour apple bar seating. 
So this is the martini demonstration. Who wants a hot martini? Who wants that martini? It's cold. If you're not right, you'll lose the Okay, here we go. He's going to start off with two ounces of absolute Rex vodka. Two ounces of absolute vodka. Oh, it's full of martini. Could just contain a martini, but I'll clearly, clearly wrong. It is one ounce of our sour apple snaps. Ooh, sour snaps. There is the magic of the drink. I was thinking, why does it keep on moving? It's because the boat's moving, isn't it? And my camera just keeps on reading just through for the waves. What's your name? Robert. Hello, Robert. What's your name? They give him a shake. So this is the martini demonstration. I saw a really good one of these cocktail making demonstration. It was really good a couple of years ago. They're doing all the flips, all the stuff you'd expect. But yeah, this is uh, the moment. It's afternoon's entertainment inside the main area. I think we're going to get back to the cabin, change our clothes, and see what else there is to do. So we're back to the cabin and we've got some information to share. What's it say? It says Scott Patch has been a model citizen on the ship and has received a fifty pound bonus. Go then, read it for the viewers. <clears throat> nice and clear. Welcome aboard the Sky Princess. <clears throat> As you went as you embark on an unforgettable voyage, we wish to extend the warmest greetings. In line with the practices of the hotels worldwide, upon registration, a pre-authorization of $100 US is played on your registered card within the 24 hours. So basically it's saying they're going to take $100, they'll do a pre-charge, $100 on your credit card that you registered, and then it can take 10 business days to release it back to your card is what they've done in the past but for some reason no one's ever mentioned anything about it before but now people seem to be asking but that's the crack then guys if you register a card they will take 100 hold of 100 US dollars on the card and then should you not spend it they will refund it within 10 business days so MSC take 250 so a bit cheaper but look at this the sun has got his hat on. Hip 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 hooray. The sun has got look at that. These beautiful views. What people want to see. Beautiful sunshine. Still a bit windy. What are you doing? There we go. Wow. Wow, wow. There's a view and half that, isn't it? So I wonder what those boats are. Ships, frogging to that Probably sounds windy, but there she is. This is what we would want the deck, fake deck for. Not good deck, balcony. Why don't you get your table and chairs out? Ooh, got it, it's a bit of a list there. So we'll come back up. I thought you were going to surprise us. Automatic doors. Look at this, modern technology. So it's the black and white evening this evening, so. Full black and white, Adidas. Old school. Technicality, that is, I suppose. So we're going to go and play Uno. <coughs> have some beers and then we're gonna go show you alfredos if you've not seen alfredos and then we're gonna get premium dessert then we go to the quiz so we'll go via top deck and see what it's like out there now so it looks nice there's the pool busier now like i said when she when she get in the sun it's not so bad i walk in the sun Straight in the sun. Just gotta find the sun first. Yeah. 
Hey, for hot, hey, chili. Come to hot. See, Princess has got with the times now. Their newly installed wave pool. Fantastic. And I'm going to talk about the phenomenal June sun. Now, who thought that only pearls are a June birdstone? It's a gemstone show. So, we're going to see if we can find some room in the Crown Grill. Just wait until we play games. When will it be open for lunch? I don't know. We'll try and find out. People will start getting ready for uh, dinner soon anyway, so let's find out. Oops, busy. Hmm, maybe not. So one thing you can do on board is play bingo. $79 for the Mega Value Plus, $69 for the Mega Value, or $39 for the Standard Plus. And believe it or not, even that price is, it does get really, really busy. Not sure what time it starts at, but, but uh, we've been here before for bingo. Oh, what else has got in here? Oh, because they have that food here, don't they now? Don't forget about that. One day I'll be elite. And I'll be having my food in here also. For the moment, looks like nothing's happening in here. To the bingo. And what time the bingo starts at? We can do it here, yeah? So we're going to play you know here. Before the bingo starts. So it's quiz time, but unfortunately, it's packed. So we won't be doing the quiz. We've been playing Uno. The bingo's finished. We've been playing a bit of Uno. We may skip it all and then go to Alfredo's and move the day forward ever so slightly. So we made it to Alfredo's and it's completely dead. Now they change the system and you have to have the plus or the premium. You can only use it twice on plus. So obviously not getting as much custom as it used to. I'm sure there's a method in the madness. We do like to come here, don't we? Yeah, we do. That's great. Yes, it's lovely. It's fantastic. Amazing. So the menu looks to be similar to the last one. But they've actually you have pepperoni pizza here. Yeah. Uh, and they've had some a la carte ones as well. So we'll have a look through the menu and see what we fancy. It looks to be pretty much same as before. So this was included before. You could come as many times as you want. But now it's limited to just two. But obviously it doesn't appear to be used as much. But like I say, obviously a method in the madness. It's very nice. It's actually pretty handy today to get somewhere to sit. So let's uh, have a look at the food. And we'll try our drinks and have a good time. So the prices of the starter now are 5 50 and if you just want the main, it's $8.50. And you want the specialized ones, they're 12. So I'm not sure what we get with the prime, prime, what's it called? Plus, we'll double check and let you guys know. So then if things change, now the time, which is gonna cost you. So then does it look, 15 euro cover charge includes appetizer, pizza or pasta. Maybe oh, a la carte, so maybe you, just want, maybe you just want to come in for one thing. I don't know, it's not very clear. Yeah, so you get a pizza, uh, a main, a main, a start starter, a main, and a dessert like before. Nothing's really changed there. If you want the dearer ones, you have to pay like the dearer. I just wonder what he's doing. What are you doing? I just, oh, I should have shown the people how to open a can with a knife. Oh, right. So if you can't open a can, what should you do? Just get your knife. Yeah. Slide it under the thing. Yeah. And twist it round like that. Mm hmm Would it work with all the spoon? Well, anything that go underneath it. Okay. So it's handy if you've got less dexterity in your hands. Top tips on this channel, you see. So the first meal has arrived. This uh, anti-pasto. We'll get the hang of using this camera one day. 
visually looks nice, doesn't it? Yep. So that's uh, another big chunk of cheese. Yep. It's not the biggest chunk of cheese. <laughs> but it is just an aperitif. Oh, yeah. Some chewy cheese, that is. Mm. Nice, though. Very nice. So Scott's pepperoni pizza's arrived. Tell me your thing. My thing, yeah. That would be the Hawaiian pizza. The Hawaiian pizza. I kind of wish I went for probably this now. Why? I don't know why I got this. You've got half of them. No, it's, it's calzone. Yeah. It might be red hot spot. Be red hot. But yes, we'll eat the food and see what the thing it looks just like before, so you expect a wonderful taste. Very nice. Although I must say the uh, the pool at the pizza is very, very good. Pool at the pizza. The pizza at the pool is very, very good. I heard it's very stringy, is that right? Just, just say it's stringy. Yeah, I think so. So we'll just finish that. What did you think of it, Scott? Yeah, it was hmm? Nice. Nice? Mm -hmm. Enjoy yours? Very nice. And I had a calzone, it was very nice. So we're not going to have a dessert here. We're going to go and have a dessert downstairs and have a premium dessert. So there's some kind of thing happening there. Oh, wrong way. Oh. Someone's dropped something at the catch. Well, I'm not caught it. Is it a magician? It's hard to work out who's talking. It might be a magician. It might not be a magician. I'll tell you what it is. It's the cocktail man talking. Just while they're all spinning that thing around. So it looks like there's some kind of thing going on, but it's not. Right, let's go get a dessert. Our premium dessert. It's a bit of a queue though. It was very nice. Looking forward to tucking in. Very nice. So it's been, we've been watching the guy put the glasses together for the champagne. It's quite impressive, really. I thought he had like little clips he put in, but then he fills it with water or champagne, I guess. I don't know what it is. Uh, that seems to keep the way. It was really impressive how he's done it. Great music as well. Been a lovely afternoon, early evening so far today. Really happy, really having a great time here on the Sky Princess. So they got the Fosters back in stock. All these years, I've not seen one since a Royal Caribbean trip. 750 mil. Yep, 750 mil litres of Fosters. Fear consumption there. We're in the USA. But the, what used to annoy me was, they would sell you Fosters for like the equivalent of nine pound or whatever, it was nine dollars. And just give you like a regular can of Fosters. A rip off. Yeah, portions like that is a lot better. So here we are on Princess Live. And um, we're ready for the... We're not ready. We're getting ready for the yes, no game. Uh, I think there's a quiz beforehand. So that's pretty cool. So I won't bore you with loads of boring stuff for Princess Live. But if you do are into this kind of stuff, it's really, really good fun. And luckily we are. So, fantastic. So tonight, I'll show you a bit of the no, yes, no game. It's pretty funny actually watching people do it it's kind of like it's, it's hard you think it's easy and then you get up there and just like fail miserable i've never done it i think Leonard george did it actually maybe even one it was just awkward it'd be very awkward so uh i'll show you that and if anybody else pops up i'll show you that as well tomorrow's plan we're gonna stop somewhere great travel vlog this is <laughs> we're stopping somewhere i'm pretty sure of that uh so the usual things as you've been watching channel before we can't afford fancy trips or that kind of stuff so what i want to demonstrate is where you can go locally for like no money whatsoever and have we got wi-fi at the port because it's right if you've got princess plus and you've got your wi-fi but if you haven't and you want to connect with home or something then it's essential isn't it really so have we got wi-fi how easy is local travel transport that kind of stuff and if there's anything to do around the actual particular area the problem with some of these cruises, they say there's stuff to do, and there's not stuff to do. So there you go. So let's enjoy tonight's entertainment, and then I will say goodbye before we go to bed. But uh, let's roll on tomorrow.
Happy days. There was yellow in it. Yeah, the second, the second lowest. Second lowest. It's yellow. So I'm getting, I didn't write this question just right now. I just copy and pasted it. Right? Yellow. <laughs> yellow. I know what the colour is, but ultra. I can't tell you it. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I'm not too sure what the order goes. So you didn't like it. find out. Cross them out. Okay, leave it as blue then. Tell you what, write down two, across, two answers and I'll give you the right one. <laughs> Put yellow down as well then. Braces. Quiz Master's always right, moving on. Question <laughs> <laughs> four. That's got Which enough. famous European football club is known as the Old Lady? Yeah, Old Lady. Which famous European football club is known as the Old Lady? Do you know, guys, what's famous football club called the Old Lady? I think it's Barcelona. Barcelona? Could be right, right there. You're learning. You're not only learning crew stuff, learning facts. Top tip, Guinness. Which famous UBA football club is known as the old Guinness and um, Cocktail. Do one more question. Don't forget to fill it in the comments below. Might draw some uh, down. Question number five, last one in this round. The Bledisloe Cup is played for in which sport? Gladyslow Cup. Gladyslow Cup played for in which sport? I don't know. You, you, Rocky. Rocket. Rocky. 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 There you go. Never heard of it. <laughs> Never heard of it. <laughs> Player lost go. four US single finals in 1976, 78, 80, and 81. We said Boris Becker, but I don't think it was him. What have you put? Jimmy Connors. Beyond Borg. Oh. Beyond Borg. Who got that one right? No. Well done, well done. Got the B. Yeah. BB, right? So we should just put BB. Yeah. We, we call him. Gary Player was a famous name in which sport? Golf. It is golf. Yes. One for two. It is golf. Well done. Now the. Number three. Infamous. In Juno, the black belt is the highest. What is the second? Brown. Yes. Brown, second highest. That's the set. That's the second for the top. I don't know. The answer's brown. It was a yeah. So I said you can write down two answers and I'll give you the brown. <laughs> two answers. If you have brown as one of your answers, you can have it. What happens if you mix, mix blue and yellow together? Because yeah. I didn't write the question. <laughs> and question four, which famous European there football club is known as the Old Lady? It is Juventus. You bloody Barcelona. No chance. Juventus. Here you go, you can re right. redeem yourself here. The Bledisloe Cup is played for in which sport? Tiddlywings. Tiddly rugby. rugby. It's the when um, Scotland and England play oh, against each other. Rugby. I've never heard of it. So England and Scotland play against each other. We're doing really well there. So we enjoyed the quiz. Um, we're going to sneak off though. Oh, it's so hard to do on a former night because can't get downstairs. Everyone's taking pictures. I'm guessing the champagne went down well because. It's not there. What I want is a lovely snack from the International Cafe. One of my favorite spots on the ship. See, look, ship. I said it right. What should we get? Something nice. Two floors down, just before we hit yes, no game. Genius plan. I'm also going to try on those little cocktails I've seen. My knees are hurt. Getting old. Getting old and fat. But here we are, International Cafe. Oh, there's no queue. Oh, literally. Literally landed on my, on my feet here. What are we going to get? I haven't really looked around it, have we? Have cakes. Lots of cakes. New York cheesecake. Banana. Sandwiches, pound cake, more sandwiches, it's a cheeseburger pie. It's the cheeseburger pie I tell everybody about. All right, let's get some food, let's sneak back. The brie sandwich has arrived. Watch out for the debris. So I'm gonna eat the debris sandwich, the debris, the debris sandwich. Then head back to Princess Live. This lovely sandwich.
floating in midair. It's actual cafe, fantastic. By the way, they're doing a picture there. We don't want to get in the way. Come around here. Do, do, do. And there's no door. Oh, there was a door. Top tip there. Not oh, so, mate. Okay. <laughs> Top tip. There is a door. Door oh, shut. That's what it is. I'm not doing a picture there anyway. Watch. One here. Follow me. Free sandwich. Follow the free sandwich. When it's sneak bound. Door, see what? Door. What happened there? How did you walk through the door? How did I not walk through the door? Match tricks and all that. This rap thing, don't you? Yes, no! Welcome to Christmas. Woo! Right, don't you? Yes, no. Hello, good evening, everybody. How are we doing? Hey. Are you ready for a great show? Yes. yes. So my name is Lucy. This is my lovely assistant Alvaro, and uh, we're going to be playing the Yes No game show. Now, all you have to do is last three minutes up here without saying the words yes or no. Woo. Sounds very straightforward but there are some rules there are some rules now here we go hi sir how are you doing good fucking how are you i'm good thank you so scott you tell me you are from posho bersho bersho posho posho that's in england posho i think so how are you feeling so it's in england right now well i think I i'm english so i think i live in england oh, yeah but you'll be in scotland in wales i don't know england okay england well tell me is your first time in a quiz? Sorry? Is this your first time in a quiz? Possibly. Are you traveling with your family? Pardon? Are you traveling with your family? I don't know. <laughs> they they <laughs> tell me. Who doesn't know anything? <laughs> what is your family? Over there, I think. Can you wait me? Oh, they're recording you. Are you happy for that? You have the team. Possibly. You cannot say possibly. One more possibly and you're out of the game, my friend. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, everything is possible here. Do you have a pet? Sorry? Do you have a pet? A Three. Three pets. Dogs? Dogs. Three dogs. What are their names? Willow, Max, Molly. Oh, I like them. You know, I used to have a pet before, before the cruise ship. I found it in a Christmas night. I call her Navi, like Navi that. It's Christmas in Spanish. <laughs> but I have to give her an adoption. What? I have to give her an adoption. <laughs> what was that? Because I came here to work, I didn't know what to do with her. Uh, oh, adoption. Yeah, you know what? I, I thought you said give her another option. No! I oh, like adoption! That's what I thought you said. No! And you know who adopted her? me then. You know who adopted her? Who's got blonde hair? My mother! My mum's got blonde hair. It's not a blonde hair, she's white hair. Wow. I don't know what it was. What, she Nice nice white. Anyway, why are you talking about my mother? Why are you talking about you? What's the name of your mother? What's your mom? What's your mom's name? I'm the one who did the question. Oh, sorry, sorry. Well, I'm in college. How old are you? 19. 19. Are you going to the school or college something? Working. Working. What do you, what do you work? Uh, I sell to electricians. Do you like it? Not at all. Oh! oh. Almost. Oh. Almost. Ah. Yeah. What do you do there? What do you sell? Electrical equipment. <laughs> to electricians. Cables and things? Cables. What else? Sockets. Bubble. Bulbs. Who? Bulbs. Bulbs. Yeah. yeah. Anything electrical. Bulbs, sockets, wiring, yes, cables. Bulbs. Okay. Well, I think you have to do it. What time is now? I know. See how like, no, don't look at the watch. Why not? Just look at me. Do you like this watch? I like her. It's a watch. Oh, Can I use it? No. Uh, oh. We're so close. Uh, Kate, your name is? It is Jessica. Oh, Jessica. Got it. Okay, good. Uh, Jessica, what do you do for work? I am a content creator. Content creator, like Instagram? Yes. 
Thank you. I'm so sorry. Not now. <laughs> yeah. So, Jessica. No, no, Jessica. What's your name? No. Joanne. J O N N E. With one E? Mommy. One E? Mommy. In your Joanne is one E? Mommy. Yeah, you. Okay, doesn't matter. Joanne, are you excited about tomorrow? We're going to Spain. Have you ever been there in Spain? I have been many times. Do you speak some Spanish? No, I don't. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, you say not at all. <laughs> not at all. I can teach you some Spanish. You know that I speak Spanish? I know you can. Yes. Hola. How are you? Okay, it doesn't matter. I try to do my best. You know what? I've never been in La Coruña. Have you ever been there? What do, what do you can see there? There's any interesting place to go? I'm going on a tour bus. Your tour bus? Like the hop off, hop off? That's correct. Oh, nice. Can I go with you? <laughs> I have no plans for tomorrow. Uh, I have no plans for tomorrow. Uh, off and say off. yes. Not my problem. <laughs> I have a bitch. I, I, I hear like the people who really gave us a little bit rude, but. But Joanne? <laughs> okay, so tell me more about yourself. Are you traveling by yourself? Are you with your family here? I'm with my husband. Your husband? Where is your husband? Hi, husband. Is that one there? With the tie? I don't see glass. Me neither. That's yes, because we use glasses. Yes, I it's happened the same to you. We use glasses and we cannot see anything. So. He wears glasses. Huh? He Okay. Ah, oh, he's waving now. Uh, what is his name? Jason. Jason, they, uh, so do you live in which city? You tell me. Wombly. Nice Wombly. Wombly. Is that in England, right? In England. It is in England. South of England. South East. South East. That's like Cambridge. No, I <laughs> Not at all. Well, and all the board of you. Are you celebrating something special on this cruise? Anniversary, birthday. Just for food. Just for food. Just for food. No. Oh. 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 Two, one, start the timer. Uh, top. I think so. Oh, okay. Think the name is top. Good to know, Tom. Where are you from? Newcastle. Newcastle. Ah, so you support the um, uh, blah blah blah. What are they, what are they called? Tom Tom. The tune too. Newcastle United. Ah, oh, that was the name. It was quite obvious, really. Uh, good. So you support Newcastle United. Who's your favourite player? Um, Joe Linton. Do you know who I used to love? Okay. Alan Shearer. Alan Shearer. Shearer. Yeah, he was a, re a Shearer, a very attractive man. I thought when I was twelve, which is weird, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> so you like Newcastle United? What do you do for a job, Tom? You're gonna build me now, Mister Wilson. A civil servant. Oh, why do we boot you for that? It's better than a fox. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you do in your hobbies? What do you like to do in your spare time? Uh, football, family. Football, family. What position do you play? Father. Um, <laughs> right back. Are you any good? No. Thank you. Uh... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Up next from the UK is Grandad George. Oh, oh. I love a Grandad. Oh, here he is. Grandad George. Oh. Hello. I, I don't think he's done later. <laughs> yeah. oh, Grandad George. I, I can show the thing. It's a bit of pleasure to be here. Oh, God, that's so lovely. What's his accent? <laughs> I don't know. It's probably a bit weird, but that's all right. We're going to get to the bottom of it. I'm not going to talk about it all the time. Okay. So, right George, this is beautiful. Look straight ahead, please. Straight ahead and talk lovely, nice and loud into the microphone. We're going to get started. In three, two, one. Here we go. Grandad George? I am. Yes. Who, who are you grandfather to? Are any of the people here? I'm grandfather to a young lad called... Scott. Is he here? Uh, he's here. Oh, Scott's over there. That's yeah. not your question. He's here. He's here, yes. 
Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. I'm obsessed with him. He tries to say, I said yes, but it's not actually yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know whether this would save me if I was in the water, though. It's, it's, it's just a drink house off. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's something else. <laughs> <laughs> a life boy, I don't know. It's a girl's show. That was a really Remember. wild three minutes. Okay. <laughs> Granddad George, you're a legend. I love you already. Okay, let's get our next contestant up. Who do we have? From <laughs> London, it's... We've only just begun. So, that concludes tonight's entertainment, guys. We will tell you that the clocks go forward, which you can't see because I've moved that. What does this say? Oh, it's about getting off. They don't mess around, do they? Get off, get off my boat, ship. I'll get the hang of it one day. So we need to have a look at that. We've got the plan for the, the Corona tomorrow. Oh, there's a bit of a guide as well. I think that's what I watched on the internet read on the uh, website but we'll go through that and i'll give you all the information in the morning and then that's really the whole thing um cabin wise we really enjoyed it it's nice it's a lot quieter tonight than it was last night it was really loud so but the one thing the person comes in and makes up the bed which is great but <laughs> you never close the curtains so you kind of like do, do i risk it so brisk brisket is Well it's on the outside. It wasn't outside. No, it's on the inside. That's what it said. Brisket was outside. I see. Ah, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> Let there be a light. As the door shuts so we get trapped outside here forever. So it doesn't it, it won't. So anyway guys, that concludes tonight's entertainment. So we will see you in the morning. So, thank you for watching, and um, hope you've enjoyed yourself, because we're enjoying ourselves, and we'll go to day three, and we'll give you all the tips and tricks for going to look, look, what's he doing? Enjoy adopted. The Corona. Bye for now. Bye. Well, that was the end of the evening, but unfortunately, it's been a long time since Grandad George, who wasn't with us, is still missing. So I'll just show you the app one more time, so you can see how it works. So I'll just close it. Actually, I won't close it, it takes forever to unlock back up. The door keeps on going. So, from the main thing, which looks like this, in my door going. There we go. Oh, my door. Um, you pick on you, you. then you pick on um, shipments. I know it's blurry. There you go, might be a bit better now. George, Brendan George, and locate, and he is on deck 10, <laughs> for some reason, where the hell is he, yes he's on deck 10, so we've sent the scout out, Scott, always oh, moved to the lifts now, but it's great, if you do have kids, it's a great way to keep an eye on them, and other, pe other things, not keep an eye on them, but just, you know, general safety. I think when I first started bringing Scott on board, I was always like, there you go. I know it clicks, it's annoying. I was just petrified. He would just go missing. I would never see this child again. Or for some reason, he would get off this luxury liner. And for some reason, decided he wanted to swim in the 
C or some stupid thing. So luckily, obviously, once they get older, they get a bit wiser. And um, when he was younger, obviously, they keep an eye on him. But having that extra level of security when they're just at the age where they don't need to be signed in at the kids club, they can do what they want. The app is really, really useful for that. And with Grandad George, it's really, really useful also because you never know where he's going to end up. So hopefully, he's going to. Let me click this again. I know it makes a noise, it's annoying. And he's. Oh! Bob's a bit rocky. He's gone off the radar now. Where is he? Ah, it's on deck 14. So he's still on the wrong deck. <laughs> so he sent scout, scouts, got off to recover him. And this will tell him where Scott is. I don't know if you've even seen that. So Scott's on. Scott's still hit. He's not left his medallion here, has he? What a Wally. Right, anyway. Hopefully you'll see us all tomorrow. If not, that's the end of the show and the series. Thank you for watching. And uh, it's been great. So, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe I won't. Good night. God bless. Bye.